Welcome back to another video. How you are doing? Hope you are doing great. My name is Cynthia. If you're new here, you are highly welcome. Thank you guys for always coming back. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your support. Please don't forget to subscribe to my new YouTube channels. I will link them in the description box below. And also don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you get to know each time I upload new videos. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing us how to make this uh, short circle dress. As you can see, there's a joining at the bottom of the dress. I might be joining it at the bottom. I don't know yet. I might... So that is what we're going to be making today. So I will go ahead and turn my fabric to the wrong side. I'm using two and a half yards of fabric for this tutorial, 45 inches by length. This is African print. I will start by folding my fabric into two. I will fold my fabric like so. It's folded into two. So I will fold it again. I'm cutting the front and the back together. So I will grab it right from this side. This is the folded edge. So I will take it and uh, take it to the other side. Okay, now I have my fabric folded into four, like a triangle. I folded it in a triangular form. So I'll go ahead and take the measurement. The shoulder measurement is 16 inches. Divided by 2 is 8 inches. I'll mark 8 inches here. So I'll make a line here. I'll connect the shoulder line. Right on this shoulder line, I'll place my chest measurement. This is my chest and that's the upper bust measurement. I'll measure from this side to this side. So mine is 13 inches. 13 divided by 2 is six and a half inches right on the shoulder line here i will mark six and a half inches plus half inch sewing allowance that is seven inches i'll mark seven inches here so on this seven inches i will place my ample measurement my ample measurement is nine inches so because it's an off shoulder dress i will minus five or four inches if you like you can minus four inches or five inches but i minus five inches i'll place my table line so minus the five inches and place my ample measurement so I'll mark 9 inches for the armhole. So I'll go to this side also, mark 9 inches. I will connect the line. So this is now my chest line. So this is my armhole line. This is my armhole. I'll look for the midpoint, 2 inches. Then I'll make a curve here. So right on this um, chest line, I will place my bust measurement. My bust measurement is 42 inches. Divided by 4 is 10 and a half inches. So this is 10 and a half inches. I will add 1 inch for sewing allowance and 1 inch for ease. That is 12 and a half inches. Right on this chest line. I'll mark 12 and a half inches here. I will go to the shoulder line here and add my folding allowance to it because I'll be adding stripe to the upper part. I will add one or one and a half inches to it. So I will add one and a half inches. I'll mark one and a half inches on this side and mark one and a half inches on this side. That's the sewing allowance for the upper part for folding. I'll connect it. So we'll go ahead and then place the length of the dress. My dress length is 40 inches. I'll be joining it at the bottom. So I will minus 5 inches because I'll be cutting out 5 inches, making a little bit gather to the upper part. So 40 minus 5 is 35 inches. I'll place my tape right on the shoulder measurement. I will still minus the 5 inches for the off shoulder. I'll add one inch for sewing allowance for the bottom side to hem it at the bottom. 
So I'll mark 36 inches round. This is my dress length. I'll go ahead and cut it out. I will cut out the down part before cutting out the upper part. I'm cutting out the upper part. So I will split one side open. This side is open and the other one is not open. So I'll go ahead and split this side open. Because I'm cutting out five inches for the bottom, I'll place my fabric like so at the bottom of the, the dress. You make sure you fold this into four. Remember, we are cutting out front and back together. I will take five and a half inches round plus uh, sewing allowance. I'll go ahead and cut out five and a half inches. So this is for the damp part. I added about 10 inches extra to it because I'll be making a little gather with this one. As I'm joining them together, I'll just make a little gather with this. So we'll go ahead and cut out the face in this. I will place this like so and cut the facing for the sleeve in order to have a, a neat work. I'm cutting out about one and a half inches facing. I will cut out for both arm cold. So this is the facing. I will cut out two for this side and two for the other side. What we are going to do next is to cut out the stripe. I will use my round shoulder measurement to cut out the stripe. My round shoulder is uh, 44 inches. So I will cut out 44 inches stripe. The length of my stripe is 2 inches and the, the wideness is uh, 44 inches plus 2 inches for sewing allowance that is 46 inches. I will cut out 46 inches stripe. We are done with the cutting. We we'll go ahead and put the fabric together. So I will take one of the panels. This is one of the panels. This is the five inches I cut out. I will make sure right side are facing each other. I will join these to the upper part. As I'm sewing it, I will make a little gather, not too much, just a little gather with the five and a half inch just little garden sew it all the way from here to the other side I will do the same thing to the front part so after I've done that I will take my armhole facing join it to the armhole here right side facing each other I will do the same thing to this side and the back panel I finish hemming the sleeve and I've also attached the five and a half inches to the upper part so as you can see the gather is a little here, I didn't add much gather to it. So what we are going to do next is to join the side together. 
So I will lay the front and the back against each other. I will use one inch to join them together. I will sew it right from the armhole here, all the way to the bottom of the, the dress. I will do the same thing for this side. I will sew it from here to the bottom of the dress, use one inch to join them together. Remember I added one and a half inches to this upper part for folding because I'll be adding my stripe to this place. So this is about one and a half inches. I will add a one inch uh, stripe. And I will take a quarter of an inch and uh, fold it inside like so. I will take my one and a half inches for the folding. So I will sew it here and do the same thing to the back side. So I'm done joining the sides together and I've sewn the upper part also. So what we are going to do next is to sew the stripe. I use my round shoulder to cut out the stripe. My round shoulder is 44 inches. I added about 2 inches to it. So that is 46 inches. I will pass it through this one and a half inches I folded earlier. So this is 2 inches. I will fold half inch on the side. Fold half inch on this side and lap them against each other like so. So I will sew it here. I will make sure I sew it very close to the edge here. So I'm done sewing this stripe. I will use a safety pin to insert it here. I will start with the back side. So this is the one and a half inches uh, space I created earlier. I will pass it through this back side. So this is the back side. I will now go to the front side. So I have exactly 5 inches stripe here, the front part is 5 inches and the back is 5 inches, that is 10 inches. And I need to gather it a little bit at the upper part here. So I reduce and uh, cut out about 5 to 6 inches from the stripe. So I'll make sure I have about 6 inches on this side because I'll be joining them together and 6 inches on this side. If you don't want to stitch them together, if you want to knot, knot it here, you will add about 15 inches allowance to it what I'm going to be stitching it I will take this to the back side and stitch them together which I will fold one inch inside and stitch them together here I will stitch it in a way you will not notice there's a stitch here I'll stitch the stripe together as you can see you will not even notice there's a stitch here if you don't want to leave it like this you can take it and push it inside this um, folded space so that is exactly what I'm doing so it's inside the space here as you can see there is no joining here Space. I push it inside the space so I have about 10 inches front and back stripe and there are 10 inches front and back stripe on this side Oh, this is a simple and casual dress and very easy to make so we have come to the end of today's tutorial thank you so much guys for watching if you find this video very helpful don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to my new youtube channels i will link them in the description box below thank you so much guys for watching i love you guys bye